As a young girl, Nora Tideman's father, Tobias, teaches her the mythology of trolls and the origin of their local mountains. In one tale, Nora nearly sees the faces of the trolls carved out of the rock. Years later, an eruption caused by a drilling operation across the Dover Mountains claims the lives of several workers and protesters. The Norwegian government, which is in dire need of solutions, enlists a wide range of specialists. Among them Nora, a paleontologist who has just made a significant discovery. Only Nora and the advisor to the Prime Minister, Andreas Isaacson, point out that the area is surrounded by sizable impressions that resemble footprints. The experts in attendance initially think that the explosion was brought on by the miners striking a pocket of methane. When a second occurrence kilometers away destroys the home of an elderly couple next to Lesha, the Prime Minister allows them to look into the possibilities further with Norwegian military officer, Captain Chris Holm. The three turn to Tobias for help as Nora starts to suspect that a troll might be to blame. Tobias has subsequently lost his professorship due to his conviction that mythical creatures have a true origin. The four unintentionally awaken the sleeping 148 feet. Troll after Tobias spots a topographical abnormality during a rapid exploration of the mountains. The 148 feet troll had hidden itself on the mountainside. As they flee, they record the first concrete video evidence of Norris' theory. The Prime Minister organizes a military operation under the command of Chris. But the troll is simply irritated by conventional weapons. When the troll is frightened by additional gunfire, Tobias is killed after making an attempt to communicate with it. Nora suggests a sonic strike using church bells based on her research into the legend, but it enrages the creature rather than incapacitating it and results in significant collateral damage. International news organizations take up the story and broadcast it globe after the rampage. The Prime Minister issues a complete city evacuation order as the troll approaches Oslo, the capital of Norway. Nora and Andreas disagree to the government's plan to drop a nuclear bomb on Oslo to kill the troll, but they are kicked off the task team. Nora makes one final effort to learn more about the creature. The royal palace is where they find Rikard Sinding, chief of court, who tells them the truth about trolls in Norway after being guided there by Tobias Notes. Trolls had been residing in Norway before being exterminated by Christian settlers, and Tobias had been right all along. The truth had been hidden in folklore. Sinding had Nora's father dismissed and sent to a mental hospital when he came too close to the truth. After the Christians killed his family and left him for dead in a crevice in the Dovra Mountains, the Troll King's palace was destroyed and the royal palace was erected on top of it. Nora deduces that the creature is making its way towards Oslo in an effort to get back home. The troll will be exposed to UV light from several tanning beds when Nora and Chris learn that trolls are sensitive to direct sunlight. Andreas asks his buddy Sigrid to stop the bombing of Oslo while Chris asks his fellow soldiers to construct the troll trap at the covert government site. To stop the nuclear attack, Sigrid hacks into the military's computer system. The troll is lured to the UV light trap by Nora and Andreas who put the skull of one of the troll's babies in the back of the queen's truck. When Nora suddenly changes her mind, she shuts out the lights and makes an effort to save the creature. The troll is then put to death by the rising sun in a clear sky. Andreas and Nora ponder whether more trolls are still alive in Norway's highlands as everyone else celebrates. After that, something appears to roar out of the debris inside the Dovra mountain cave. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos.